40 to 60% of the population are actually sensitive to poison ivy. Poison ivy is a Native American plant. It was not found anywhere else in the world, but here in North and South America. And we talk about poison ivy because it's something to avoid. Leaves of three, let it be. All parts of poison ivy are toxic and cause very highly irritating rash, which lasts about eight to 10 days. The allergen is a haptin. It's actually not the, the quinones that cause the problem in which arises because of a protein interaction with these uh, phenol. Urushiols are C15 to C17, and they're actually different for poison ivy than for poison oak and for, for poison sumac. The medicinal use of this plant, believe it or not, there was one, and it was, the Native Americans actually used extracts of poison ivy for ringworm. It was one of the few uses for poison ivy extract poison oak, which is not found in the eastern U.S. typically, but mostly found out west and in the southern part of the U.S., was actually used as a chemical warfare agent by the southwestern tribes. When they were being chased by cavalry or being followed, and they knew that if you burn poison ivy and, and as well poison oak, that the irritants are actually attached to the smoke. And so they would burn huge bunches of poison oak in canyons where the wind would be going down the canyon toward this cavalry and the cavalry would actually ride through the smoke of poison oak. The next day they were not being chased anymore because they all came down with poison ivy or dermatized all over their skin, their mouth, and so this was probably the first chemical warfare agent used in the U.S.